Hey guys, Dan here coming at you with a new little thing I'm testing out which is short, sharp, educational, motivational, inspirational, whateverational videos to help you out with your everyday lives. So this is the first of what I hope will become a regular feature here on the site. So today I just wanted to talk about a little uh, technique or strategy that I share with my clients, one that you can implement today to help improving uh, your confidence, and your self-worth, and your, just your general performance in life. And that is the observe, stop, and replace strategy. So, we all have little things that we do in our everyday lives that really just don't help us out very much. Um, little thought patterns that we have which lead to emotions and behaviours that we engage in that really just make things harder for us rather than easier. So, there's a very simple strategy to get rid of these and to start living a better life. Now the first phase of this is the observation phase, or the observe. And what I want you to do over the next two weeks is think about what area of your life needs the most improvement. So maybe it's, uh, maybe you're a people pleaser and you're too nice to everybody. Or maybe you are too mean to everybody. Uh, or you just let yourself down when it comes to achieving your goals. Maybe it's a motivational uh, issue that you have. So what I want you to do over the next two weeks is observe yourself, like a scientist observing something in a petri dish, okay? I want you to have a look at yourself over the next two weeks and write down the times when you engaged in this unhelpful behavior, okay? So if, for example, you worry about being too nice to people, if you are a people pleaser. Over the next couple of weeks you could write down every time you noticed yourself um, pretending to be happy when you weren't happy, doing something for someone else when you should have been doing something for yourself, sacrificing yourself in that way, and all the other little things that you think relate to being too nice. So once you've identified those, so you do all of those for two weeks in whatever area, you just observe yourself. You don't have to do anything about it, you don't have to feel any pressure to act. Just observe and write these things down. The next phase is stopping yourself, okay? So this is, again, another couple of weeks where I want you now to observe those behaviors again, but this time stop yourself from engaging in them, okay? So when you feel the thought pattern start, like, oh, I want people to like me, or, you know, this is gonna end in confrontation, oh no, just stop it. You don't have to do anything, you can walk away from the situation, you can change the subject. You don't have to do anything fancy, you just have to not do what you'd usually do, okay? Stop yourself, just do it for two weeks. And the last phase of this little strategy is replace, okay? So when you've finally stopped yourself engaging in the behavior that you know doesn't help you, you now need to replace it with the behavior that it's kind of the opposite, it's the behavior that you would engage in if you were the way you want to be, okay? So if for example, again we're using the being too nice thing, a people pleaser, and you say the first week you observed yourself being nice to people that you didn't even like, right? And then the second phase, the second two weeks, you just stopped being nice to them, you just kind of ignored them, or whatever. Now in this third phase, the really challenging replacement phase, now, when somebody does something you don't like, you need to go and assertively confront them about it, okay? You don't need to get it perfect, you can stutter and stumble and get it wrong, it doesn't matter, as long as you're doing it different to what you used to do, which was to try and please those people, okay? So the underlying strategy there is observe, stop, replace. So first you've got to watch yourself to see what it is that you're doing, secondly you have to stop yourself from doing the things that are negative, and thirdly you need to replace them with something opposite. Do this for a few months with all the different areas of your life that you're not happy with and you'll see significantly positive changes over time. Be sure to comment below with any ideas as to how that worked out for you, any stories. You can email me, dan at theinspirationallifestyle.com. Um, I love to hear those stories and it also helps me to learn more about how this strategy works for other people. Have yourselves a great week. I'll see you next time. Cheers.